and it's been a while. Um, I thought I might try my hand at Vlogtober. Um, I did forget about it yesterday. I forgot that yesterday was the first of October, so I'll start today. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure how exciting my life is going to be, but I thought I might as well try it. <laughs> and it might get me um, to be able to share a few more things with you and keep you updated on my life and stuff. Right now, I'm sitting in my daughter's parking lot at her school. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I just dropped her off at school, and I'm sitting in the car in the school parking lot and hoping that nobody looks is looking at me because <laughs> it might be kind of weird looking. Anyway, it is a very gorgeously dreary day outside. It's not cold. It's mm, It says it's 20 degrees Celsius, so it's... it's uh, humid and warm-ish, but not cold. Definitely doesn't feel like fall uh, yet still. The trees are green, there's only a couple trees changing, so it still feels like that in between time. But yeah, I just wanna check in right now just to start my day, and I have a few things that I might bring you along with me today. I have a couple things I have to do, or just one thing. And I'm just gonna be home and doing stuff around the house, and. Yeah, I'll check in with you later. <clears throat> I'm in the car and on my way home from dropping my daughter off at school and I just heard All Apologies by Nirvana. I was that little girl that um, was devastated when Kurt Cobain died. <laughs> but I was a big Nirvana fan. But anyway, I'm in the car and apparently it's a classic Make sure the car doesn't go anywhere. It's a classic rock station and they play little snippets of songs that are classic rock. And it's like Green Day, Nirvana, Smashing Pumpkins, Chili Peppers, um, I don't know what, Foo Fighters, Stone Temple Pilots. How is that classic rock? Where, where did 20 years go? It just, it's gone. It's time is so weird. I can't believe that it's just, that was that long ago. That stuff's old. It's actually older than 20 years. But it's all my high school music, <laughs> so it was kind of cool to hear it. But I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I ha am getting over a cold. And I, I said I never get sick, I never get sick, and I got sick. My daughter brought some virus or ugh, cold or something home from school, and she was out for almost a week. Actually, I think it's been a week, and today is her first day back. Um, I just kept her home for the whole week. But I've been really sick, and I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I feel pretty crummy. But I am getting better. I feel like I actually almost got two colds at the same time, or like one on top of the other. It's crazy. I never get sick. I must not be eating very well, so I gotta eat more soups and veggies and I don't know. But I'm basically going to just be sharing my random thoughts, <laughs> the stuff that is in my head in this vlog, because I don't do that enough. Um, if I recorded more podcasts, maybe I would do that. But um, yeah, that was my random thought on my 10 minute ride home from the school. My cold and the classic rock that still feels like it's new rock. Uh, that sounds weird, but yeah. <laughs> So I just was on, <laughs> there was like major construction going on out here. I don't know about anywhere else, but in Ontario, summertime means construction and it goes well into November or December. And this is no exception where I am. I am sitting in the middle of construction, but anyway, I just had an appointment and on my way to the appointment, I don't know if I'll include the footage before or right now or after but I was behind this um, crazy crazy farm type vehicle and of course you I'm always afraid I'm gonna be running late even though I, I definitely have plenty of time but I traffic slowed down so bad it went from, I was going I don't know 
I don't know. I was going pretty fast, and then all of a sudden it really slowed down. And up ahead, there's this farm vehicle going so slow. And I got all, like, crazy because I feel like I'm in a hurry all the time. And I didn't want to get, I didn't want to be late for my appointment. And I know there, there was construction going on, so I didn't know how much that would hold me up. But it was pretty funny, though. I'm like, <laughs> welcome to farm life. You're stuck behind a farm vehicle that's going, like, 20 miles an hour. Fun time. And I'm probably, it probably wasn't very safe for me to um, take a video while I was driving, but I was going that slow where it really wasn't a big deal. Although, that's bad, but yeah. Anyway, so I am going back home for a little while um, before my daughter gets off the bus. Maybe I'll get um, a little bit of vlog footage while she's getting off the bus or something. I do not know. I had no sleep last night, um, like seriously, I think I fell asleep at like 2, um, I had to get up at 6, and sorry that I look so awesome, and I, I crashed after my appointment and I had to take a nap, so I just woke up and this is what happens when I wake up. Um, actually, I did my hair this morning, I'm looking at it right now, and this is what happens when it's like 80% humidity. My hair looked really nice this morning, and um, now it's just, it, look at it. It's a frizzy and just ugh, craziness. So I'm waiting for Nadia to get off the bus. I'm about to um, walk over down to the end of the driveway. I probably won't um, get a video of her actually getting off the bus because I feel fun, kind of funny like holding the phone up to the bus. And um, doing that, <laughs> I guess. But maybe I'll get a video of the bus coming to us. But who hasn't seen a bus? Anyway, I don't know if you can hear the dogs. We have a neighbor whose dogs bark all day long. And he has, I'm, and this is not an exaggerating number, he has 23 dogs. So it's not cool. We're not really happy about that. <laughs> They bark all day long, and if we make any noise, they hear it, and they all start barking. So, not cool. Not cool, guys. Look who's home. Hi. Look. No, I'm just looking at you. I'm taking a video. Hey, um, so I'm probably gonna be wrapping this up pretty soon, but I just realized, so I'm doing the Vlogtober thing, but if you're just catching me for the first time and you haven't seen the my podcast, this is a um, part of a knitting podcast that I do. So I've been around for a couple of years now, three years, but um, I've had a hard time keeping really consistent with my podcasting, but um, which is why I'm doing Vlogtober. So I'm hoping to be able to share things with you a little more often and kind of stay on track here. Um, but yeah, this is a knitting podcast normally. And um, I realized that all the talking and nonsense that I've shared with you today, I haven't shared any knitting. And I haven't done a podcast in a long time, so I thought maybe I would share with you a couple of the things that I'm working on. Um, and I'm not going to share all of them with you right now because I have quite a few things that I've been working on this um, recently. So I'll take a, a 
um, kind of spread it out over a few days, but I just wanted to share a couple of things. Um, first of all, the yarn that I'm using for this one is nothing special. Um, for some reason, I saw this yarn in the store and I liked the color. However, it's not like anything, any special kind of yarn. I think it's like Barnett and um, I don't really know why I chose it, mostly for the color. <laughs> I think but anyway I wanted to make a cardigan for my daughter and I'm kind of doing it off the cuff just making up my own thing and it is here I'm gonna turn the camera around if I can um, actually I think I have to stop recording <laughs> one second I'm really sure what happened there but um, yeah this is the the cardigan um, again like I said nothing special with the yarn but it is soft it's not like scratchy yarn or anything and it's kind of hard to tell I don't think the color is coming true but it's like blues and teals with um, some greens and yellows and whites in it and it's just my own pattern it's a little raglan top-down little cardigan the sleeves are on stitch holders right now and I only have a little bit left before I, I do a um, the bottom like a ribbed bottom and then I will actually, because I forgot to do this, um, I will add in a button band or I was thinking about doing a zipper, but I haven't done a zipper yet in a knit garment. So I'm not really sure yet. I might look that up and figure that out. But this is this little cardigan for her and I actually tried it on her and it looks super cute. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, um, to getting this finished and giving, letting her wear it to school. And I actually got, so we were at a hotel last night, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, and I had a lot of downtime, and I think I got about this much knit last night, this section right here, which is pretty good. And then another thing I was working on, um, I'll just show you, is this hat. It's not blocked or anything. <clears throat> I actually did this just by looking at some pictures in a, the Knit Stitch Bible book that I have. This is a purple. It's, kind of, it's like an eggplant aubergine purple. It's kind of hard to see within this light. It's not very good light. But yeah, it's just like this little checkered stitch along the bottom. I kind of did it also off the cuff. Just wanted to make my own thing. Just wanted to practice some color work. And yeah, I'm really happy with the way it came out. And my daughter is looking for me right now. And it's got ear flaps. And I'm just gonna crochet a little white edging around the edge and maybe add some strings for the ear flaps. And yeah, I don't think it fits her though because it's um, color work. Let's see if I can show you. The Fair Isle, I did try to keep it pretty loose, but because it's Fair Isle, it did get kind of tight on the inside. So I think it would actually fit more of a, like a two year old, but I'm sure I can find somebody to um, pass this off to. But I thought it came out really cute. I was really happy with the design here. Pretty fancy stuff. We got you... some presents. Oh yeah? A little kitty and a little puppy? They're super cute, Nadia. Ooh, look! 